here's a tree man. What's his, he's an, he's an ent, but I, his name is Treebeard. Tree uh, you know him as John Kerry. I call him Treebeard from the uh, Lord of the Rings uh, movies over there. Uh, here is John Kerry, our former climate czar under Barack Obama, who's now still flying all over the country and all over the world in his private jet. Uh, here he is explaining a bit about climate change to the people of Congress. You asked the question, what's it going to look like? Uh, that depends on what we decide to do. It's very obvious that there are huge threats here. Uh, literally, food production for an entire continent could implode. Water is already diminishing. Last year, the Rhine River was down to inches. They had to stop navigation on the river because of it. You're seeing glaciers that are now absolutely predictable as to when they will be completely gone. And, and at the rate the ice is melting in the north and south of Antarctica and Antarctica, um, there are dire predictions now about how that's moved forward by about 30 years at the pace at which the, the, it is vanishing. Uh, and parts of the Earth are warming much faster than other parts of the Earth. The Arctic, for instance, is warming four times faster than the rest of the Earth. Other places are. We're hitting heat levels in places that have never been lived by human beings on a regular basis. Oh, no, heat levels in places that humans have never lived. I guess they're going to continue not to live there. Look, everything he said there is nonsense. This jackass flies his private jet all over the world. They live in a way that they would never allow you to live. You, you have nothing to worry about. And don't worry, they're not worried about it either, which is why Barack Obama lives on a 30-acre estate on the water in Martha's Vineyard. Don't worry, no illegal immigrants over there. Uh, but now here's the kicker of this freaking thing. They asked John Kerry about him flying his own private jet around the world to talk about climate change and you will just love this freaking answer. So uh, I just don't agree with your facts, which began with the presentation of one of the most outrageously persistent lies that I hear, which is this private jet. We don't own a private jet. I don't own a private jet. I personally have never owned a private jet. And obviously it's pretty stupid to talk about coming in a private jet from the State Department up here. I uh, just honestly, if that's where you want to go, go there. A few moments later, you uh, just testified under oath that you never owned a private jet. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to enter into the record uh, article here from February 15th of 2023. The John Kerry family private jet was sold shortly after accusations of climate hypocrisy. Uh, Mr. Secretary, do you stand by that testimony Not that objective. you've never I, owned or I personally, your family? I your family? personally, yes, my wife owned a plane. Oh, oh, I completely forgot my wife owned the plane. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Also, he's a lizard person. Do you notice how when he talks, the, the, the tongue... It keeps popping out of it. I never owned a plane. Oh, my white bone. I can't take these people. I cannot take it. I cannot take it.